In this video, we're going to cover the HUD Data Quality Report and the APR ESG and DQ Detail Export. Some of you may already be familiar with running one report or the other. We even have a separate video that covers how to run the APR ESG and DQ Detail Export. But these reports work best when run together. As we'll see, the individual CSVs in the DQ Detail Export match each of the sections of the HUD Data Quality Report. To find the HUD Data Quality Report, hover over HUD slash HMIS Reports, and then click on HUD Data Quality Report. Select the date range for your report, program type, and program. At this point, I don't recommend running the report by grant, so I'll leave that section untouched. You'll notice that we have a lot of report criteria to choose from, and I'm just keeping this very basic. You also don't need to select a COC filter. Once your report criteria is selected, click on Report on the bottom right-hand corner. What you'll get is a two-page report of aggregate data. Notice how each section is marked with a queue followed by a number. Keep that in mind for later. This report should serve as an overview of the health or shape of your data. There's no identifying information here, so even if you see errors, this report alone doesn't tell you which clients exactly are missing that bit of data. That's where the DQ Detail Export comes into play. First though, let's save this report as a PDF file by clicking on the blue diskette icon near the top of the report. Save it somewhere on your computer where it will be easy to find because we're going to be looking at it again later. Now let's go back to the HUD Data Quality Report page. I'm going to exit out of this report here and that'll land us back on the report page. At the very bottom of this page is a Run Export button. Without changing any of the report criteria you just entered for the previous report, click on this button. You will be taken to the Export Encryption box, and you have two options here. If you leave the Encrypt Export box checked, you will be required to create a password for your export. It doesn't have to be your client track password, but it can be. When you go this route, what is actually downloaded is a small .exe or executable file that extracts the files into a zip folder, and I'll show you what that looks like a little later. If you uncheck the encrypt export box, then you get this warning message, and you'll need to check the box below it to continue. When you go this route, then what downloads is the .zip file, and there are no additional steps to go through. And this is the option you want to go with if your computer has a security setting that does not allow you to download executable files from the internet. Regardless of what option you choose, you are still responsible for the security of the data you download. Leave the include header row and CSV files box checked, and the always quote CSV values unchecked. Once you're through, select Done. you will be taken to the Files on Server page. Now, you can already see here that I have my files, but typically, these files can take an hour longer to download. While the data is downloading, you can use the system as normal. You can come back to this page by clicking on the Files on Server menu option. Now, notice the difference between the two types of files. This one has .exe at the end, and this one has .zip. Click on the paper and arrow icon to download the file. I have Windows Defender on my computer, and you might have something similar, so I need to tell my computer to run this anyway. You will then need to input the password you created, check the box that says I assume responsibility, and then you can select where the files will download by clicking on the ellipsis icon. I suggest that you place this download in a folder that you create before you go through the export process. Once you're done, click on Extract, and the small executable file will extract the CSV files for your DQ detail export. Let's go back to the Files on Server page. If you did not go the encryption route, then what actually exported was a .zip file. Download the file, and it will likely be sent to your Downloads folder. But once it's downloaded, it's ready to be cracked open. Now that we have the PDF of the HUD Data Quality Report and our APR, ESG, and DQ Detail Export, let's take a look at them side by side to see how the CSVs match up with the sections in the report. The first file here is the data validation file. 
and it will contain all the information for all clients in the program you selected. This file has its uses, but tracking down who's missing data can be difficult, especially if you have a lot of data to sift through. Remember that our HUD data quality report indicated some errors with our client's universal data elements. Everything in this table, Q2, will be found in the corresponding CSV file in the detail export. So you see here that we have a data DQ2 file, and this is gonna match up with the Q2 section on our HUD data quality report. Let's open up the file, and here we'll see the individual clients that are being pinged in the HUD data quality report for that Q2 section. Notice how the clients are broken up into three columns for this particular CSV. Don't know, missing, and data issue. You may find that clients with partial social security numbers will be counted as data issues. This is just the system's way of asking, is there any way for you to get the whole social security number? In this example, we can see that Mickey Mouse is missing his ethnicity. At this point, all you need to do is copy the client ID, input that information into client track, and then make the necessary correction. Depending on what the correction is, you may need to go to different areas on the client record to make the change. We have extra videos on how to edit basic demographic information like veteran status, how to edit or update assessment data like prior residence or financial assessments, and how to add annual assessments. Go through each section of the HUD data quality report see which sections have missing data or issues, and tap into the corresponding CSV files to check which exact clients are causing the problems. Thanks for watching.